Hey Colonels, it's Jaden here with the EKUIT Geeks, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Ethernet cable. So this right here is the wire stripper. We have to strip the outer jacket off of the Ethernet cable before we can get to the wires on the inside. Once we get the outer jacket off, we're going to want to cut this string right here. This string is typically in the cable to ensure that you're not putting too much stress on the cable when running it over long distances. Now I'm going to be organizing the cables on the inside into the correct sequence, which is orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, and brown, white, brown, in that order. As you can see right here, I'm cutting the excess off the cables, trying to get them down to the appropriate length. And I'm sticking them in the RJ45 connector, trying to make sure that the ends, the copper wire, is snug with the end of the connector. Now this is about the length that your cable should be. I'm going to try and reorganize them, get them perfect here. And like I said, the sequence is orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, and brown, white, brown. Now if you noticed, some of my wires aren't the same length as the others, and that could cause issues. That could make the cable not work, so I'm going to snip off the excess here and get them all nice and perfectly even. That is how they should look. So I ran the wires into my RJ45 connector and they went in in the wrong order so I had to pull it out and reorganize them to make sure that they're in the correct sequence. So the final step, while the cable may be done, it isn't. You have to crimp it. So this tool is a crimper. You stick the cable in there, squeeze it a couple times, and then pull it out. And now the RJ45 connector is snug and will not come off of the cable. And it's just as simple as that. That's how you make an Ethernet cable.